welcome to number five of the tutorial. We're going to make uh, openings. So we're going to start with the second floor here. Reduce the opacity of um, our wall and uh, activate the wall tool and press hold uh, control. Click here to cut it. Same for here. Press hold control and cut. I three to see it. There we are. We're gonna have our blue glass here. And um, where else? Here. Yeah, but before that, um, let's change uh, some wall color, like this one, and this one will be white. Paint, glossy white. There you are. The same for this one. Paint, glossy white. There we are. Okay. Go to uh, F2 here. We're gonna have openings here to activate window. Go to the window and empty opening. Here, set this value. And 30. And that's it. Hit OK. Put it at the center of here. There you are. And another one here. The other side. Bring up the opacity. Okay. Now the other side. Okay, bring this down a little bit. Another window. Just change this here. Yep. Mm. Set this to like that. Another one. Like this. <coughs> okay, now we are going to put one wind, one door. Set this to 250 and uh, this one. Okay, it's gonna be a glass. Everything is glass. Not like this. And um, four, four, four. All right. Let's go to model attributes. Uh, change this into uh, let's use a glossy white there you are let's have a little look at this <coughs> All right, now let's put the glasses. Curtain wall, we're going to use curtain wall. This is the front curtain wall. Yeah, if you would like to um, <coughs> to set the parameters of this, you need to 
uh, start you need to know the size of the openings first and how many grids you would like to use by inserting um, following the alphabet ABC this here okay and you set the distance between every cells and the same for the um, vertical range one two like that okay and uh, for frames uh, and boundaries you can set uniform okay and choose uh, like here I've chosen bot glazed uh, and I set the value to 4 here is 0 and I click this so as to get uh, everything the same all, all of the frames and for the panel mm, it's generic generic but at the model here I've chosen no name here yeah class blue and so that's it and now we can put it need to choose the polygonal maybe I need to put a guideline this and that's it okay going to reset no this to here this time here to here hit ok mm. yeah this is the total size here we'll start from 90 Not really to see the change and that it's going a little bit far. Yeah, I should stop here. <coughs> mm. All right, so select go here and just change those parameters let's set it to 500 there you are okay it fits exactly all right um, now we are going to put the curtain wall here our door doesn't look fine. Let me change this right quick. This, not this. Here, yeah, here. Outside casing we don't need. Inside casing we don't need. There you are. Let's go to floor 3 and activate the top uh, curtain wall 1. Hmm. Uh, change this to um, line simple line okay start at 30 total height is 220 
place. Where is it? After there we are. Okay, and to see how I uh, set this is to go here and it's the same parameters as I told you like this here and just I just changed this so I, I just have um, only one line but uh, uh, many columns okay Now I come back here. If you would like to see this in your 2D, you can just change the display order to bring it to front. Now we're going to make this here. So activate the Dirty place. Display bring to front. There we are. And I can just copy this. Move. Drag a copy. From here to the other, other part. Like that. F3 to see what we have done. Okay, fine. Done like this. And now, what I can do with this glass here, I can Control Shift M to mirror copy like that. Bring it a little bit inside like that. F3 to C. There we are. Okay, so that's it. See you on the next part for the windows and doors.